Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War Latest. NATO to strengthen forces along Ukraine border and send more military supplies. Live. Summary of headline article. 219 The ruble has recovered more ground against the US dollar on Thursday in the wake of Vladimir Putin's decision to make unfriendly countries pay for Russian gas in the country's currency. It rose 1.5% to 96.7 to the dollar in early trade on Thursday after closing up 6% at 97.7375 per dollar on Wednesday. A protest in Brussels this week calling on EU leaders to ban imports of Russian gas. Nearly all Russian gas purchases are made in euros and dollars by the way. Russia supplies 40% of the EU's collective gas needs. 27% of its oil imports and 46% of coal imports. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Putin's troops, pushed back 44 miles in some clashes near Kyiv. Summary of headline article. Ukraine's forces have pushed back Vladimir Putin's troops by more than 44 miles in some clashes close to Kyiv. Its defense chiefs claimed on Thursday. In some sectors the enemy was driven back by more than 70 kilometers. 44 miles. In some sectors the enemy is at a distance of 35 kilometers, Defense Ministry spokesperson Oleksandr Motuzianik told a televised briefing. Without citing evidence. He said the Kremlin had been sending additional military equipment to Belarus to reinforce its troops attacking Kyiv. But now there are reports that Russian troops are digging trenches and other defensive position around the capital. The British defense chiefs added, Ukraine is increasing pressure on Russian forces northeast of Kyiv. From Huff Post under the main headline of P&O Ferries bosses accused of behaving like gangsters by furious MPs. Summary of headline article. MP Darren Jones and P&O CEO Peter Hebblethwaite Parliament. TV furious MPs told the boss of P&O. Ferries they were behaving like gangsters, after they sacked nearly 800 workers without notice. It was also confirmed that most of the seafarers replacing the sacked workers would be paid £5.50. An hour. Below the UK's national minimum wage of £8.91. People take part in a demonstration against the dismissal of P&O workers organised by the RMT union. At the P&O ferry terminal in Cairn Ryan. Dumfries and Galloway. Andrew Milligan. PA Images via Getty Images Hebblethwaite previously said the 786 sacked workers were employed by three Jersey-based arms of P&O Ferries. P&O Ferries has said the redundant staff will be offered £36.5 million in total, with around 40. Getting more than £100,000 each. From Metro under the main headline of Party Girl Polina among dozens to be hit by latest sanctions. From UK. Summary of headline article. Sergei Lavrov's stepdaughter is among a raft of individuals and organizations hit by the latest sanctions. Picture. Twitter. At Pevchik. The Russian foreign minister's stepdaughter has been sanctioned in a new UK crackdown on allies of Vladimir Putin. Polina Kovaleva. Sergei Lavrov's unofficial wife's child, widely considered a London party girl has a luxury home in the centre of the capital. The Imperial College London and Loughborough University graduate is one of 65 individuals and organisations hit by a new round of sanctions. 
Kovaleva will have her assets frozen and be prohibited from travelling from or to the UK. Her mother is thought to be Svetlana Polyakova. 51. A powerful member of the Russian Foreign Ministry said to be Lavrov's unofficial wife. From the Independent under the main headline of Prince William and Kate face more protests in Bahamas. Summary of headline article. Prince William and Kate are set to fly into yet another slavery storm in the Bahamas is protest. Groups repeat demands for reparations, and take issue with their government paying for the trip. The Caribbean country's National Reparations Committee issued a document ahead of William and Kate's three-day tour of the country which begins on Thursday. Bahamas is still under colonial rule and the Westminster system but we, as Rastas, don't serve the system or the Queen. Watching Prince William and Kate playing Nyabingi drums in Trench Town, Jamaica, was a slap in our face as Rastafarians of the Bobo Shanty House, Priest Rithmond McKinney, explained. This comes as Prince William expressed his profound sorrow at the enslavement of millions of people from Africa to the Caribbean and North America, a trade which British monarchs supported and profited from during the 17th and 18th centuries. From Metro under the main headline of Meghan's first Spotify podcast to explore labels that hold women back. Summary of headline article. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video Meghan Markle is launching her first podcast series investigating the stereotypes that try to hold women back. The Duchess of Sussex has finally unveiled her first Spotify series over a year after a deal reportedly worth £18 million was struck between the former actress and the streaming platform in November 2020. In a trailer of the Archwell audio project released on Thursday, audio clips of derogatory comments are played to the backdrop of dramatic music. Meghan had previously been joined by other prominent figures in urging a boycott of misinformation, spread by podcast host Joe Rogan. Last week, a spokesperson for Harry and Meghan confirmed that Archwell Audio would be resuming production with Spotify after briefly pausing following the information row. From The Guardian under the main headline of British bass jumper dies after cliff jump in south of France. Summary of headline article. A British bass jumper has died after his parachute failed to open in time during a cliff jump while on holiday with friends in the south of France. The 34-year-old man succumbed to his injuries at Grenoble University Hospital after Tuesday's accident, according to the Dauphiné Libéré newspaper. The paper reported that he had been on holiday with several friends in Milau, Aviron. One of the man's friends raised the alarm just before 7 p.m. when they did not see his parachute open. Rescuers searched for the man by helicopter and found him unconscious and in cardiorespiratory arrest. From Sky News under the main headline of North Korea's rocket launch a clear violation of UN resolutions, prompting South Korea to fire multiple missiles. Summary of headline article. North Korea's rocket launch has been branded a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions by South Korea's Deputy National Security Advisor. As Seoul responded to the provocation by firing multiple missiles, its military said, the launch by North Korea is thought to be its biggest test ever. Militaries in South Korea and Japan said, the White House condemned the latest launch from North Korea and called it a brazen violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions. To understand why, you only have to think back to the last time North Korea tested one. In 2017, 
according to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. The latest North Korean missile was launched from near Sunan, where Pyongyang's international airport is located. From I News under the main headline of Spain's former King Juan Carlos could face court in London. Over harassment allegations. Summary of headline article. Spain's former King Juan Carlos could face trial in a British court over allegations he harassed. His former mistress after the High Court ruled on Thursday he does not have the right to sovereign immunity. The ruling means that the former monarch could stand trial before London's High Court if Corinna Zhu Sign Wittgenstein proceeds with her civil case, which is highly likely. Mr. Justice Nicklin ruled Juan Carlos, who left Spain in August 2020 to live in Abu Dhabi after a series of financial scandals, ruled he is not immune from the claim. Juan Carlos de Bourbon y Bourbon will now be answerable to an English court for his actions as a private individual. Spanish and Swiss authorities said in February they would not proceed against Juan Carlos over three investigations into his financial affairs. From the Sun under the main headline of Moment David Ames, Jihadi, arrested in church where MP. Knifed to death. Summary of headline article. The dramatic moment a knife-wielding terror suspect was tackled to the ground after allegedly Murdering Sir David Ames has been shown to jurors. Video shows officers yelling at Ali Harbi Ali to drop the bloodstained foot-long carving knife before pinning him to the ground. They were told the MP. 69. Had been stabbed several times before confronting Ali as he brandished the blade. The court was told Ali was taken into custody. Where he told the booking in officer the incident was both terror, related and had religious motivations. Jurors heard how Ali arranged an appointment with Sir David by duping his office into believing he was a healthcare worker moving to the area. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.